I want to talk a little bit about how to stay motivated. My answer is I don't. <laughs> if you rely on that motivation to get you by every single day, you're not going to really get that far. So I picked this book up a few days ago. I filled out a few days already and I freaking love it. I wanted to start journaling more frequently because I did stop journaling for like a few months and I kind of like lost touch with myself. One of my goals for this year was to start journaling more often and more purposefully, I guess. So this book is like perfect. It's perfect for me. I've got um, a section that I can fill out in the morning and then a section where I can fill out at night before I go to sleep. So in the morning, I have a quote of the day, which I really like because it sets like a little bit of an intention for the day as to what quote I want to live by. And then three things that I'm grateful for. It's always nice to start off your day with something that you're grateful for. And then the focus. So that's where I write my to-do list, which is really cool because I am pretty big on to-do lists at the moment. So at night time, there's another page where I fill out the things that, that's on this book. And one column, it says how I felt. And it's like a whole bunch of things I can tick. Like if I felt happy, angry, sad, stressed. I tick all the boxes that I felt that day. And then if I want to, I can reflect on it. And then there's a column where it says happy moments. It's so cool. I love that because it makes me kind of reflect on the day. And it's also like a form of gratitude, I guess. Because you're actually purposely thinking about what made you happy that day. You know, that's really cool. I like that. Yes. Why do I look orange? I don't like how I look right now. Why do I look orange? Mm, I need to fix that. So I'm taking my pre-workout. I'm going for the pride and I have glutamine and creatine in my water already. And there's people that's gonna pour next to me. No, okay, my gosh. <laughs> I'm like, mm, not right now, not today. A little tip for when you're just getting into the gym. I don't overwhelm yourself and go five to seven days a week because that's not necessarily sustainable so yeah i would suggest you to just like ease your way into it like just start off with like once or twice a week or two to three times a week and gradually build up from there you can still make progress by working out two to three times a week you know it's not like oh i gotta do seven days so then i can lose this amount of wait within four weeks it doesn't work that way it is not sustainable and you will literally hate your life you don't want to dread going to the gym because that's what causes you to fall off in the first first place is when you just overdo it you know there's someone that's put next to me Stop it. 
can't let it slip away. Let drift away, can't go to waste, go to waste time. I stay straight, straight to your face, won't contemplate. You got to play that, babe. I don't wanna wait another minute for you. I want you got me falling from the sky. Okay, so oh, why is that zoomed in? The hell? Yeah, I thought, it was, I thought it was zoomed in. I was like, I'm not tripping. I felt like so good. I am, I don't know what it is, but I feel like I just really changed my mindset today about how this day was going to go. And it's been amazing so far. Um, I've been a bit all over the place, but I still feel good. You know, like I was doing a lot of things, trying to like smash out some things from my to-do list today. Um, and I was pretty productive, which I think like contributed as to why I feel good today. And going to the gym in the morning before anything else has been very effective for me so far. So that's cool. It is so hot in here. I'm hokey sweating right now. Like, I feel like I'm going to develop upper lip sweat in like a minute. I want to talk a little bit about how to stay motivated. My answer is I don't. <laughs> It, there's honestly like no simple answer as to how you stay motivated. It comes down to how badly you want it. Um, so let's say you've got, you know, some some kind of goals, career goals, or even um, gym goals. You kind of have to dig deep as to why you want to achieve these goals. Because if you rely on that motivation to get you by every single day, you're not going to really get that far because... You're not going to be motivated every single day. Like, I wish it was that easy, but it's not that easy. No one is motivated 24-7. It just isn't. It just doesn't happen. Like, the people that are successful in life have habits, routines that they do on a daily basis that sets them up for the future. People that are perceived to be motivated people are just really very disciplined and are very disciplined as to what they do with their time because they have a lot of determination i guess to achieve the goals that they want to achieve so they put in the work even if they don't want to do it they still get it done start asking yourself why you're holding yourself back you know why are you not putting in the work that you said that you're going to put in you know if let's say um you want to start going to the gym three times a week why aren't you doing it like, if you've fallen off track, like, why are you not putting in the work? Like, everyone has time to do the things that they want to do if they make the time. If, let's say you work full-time, you're studying full-time, you can spend 30 minutes of your day three times a week, if it's three times a week you want to go, rather than scrolling on social media for 30 minutes, you know? Like, I think it comes down to how badly you want to achieve your goals and making sure that you fit those little steps and little habits to get to where you want to be in life, you know? Little stepping stones, I guess you could say. Just little, little stepping stones every day. Do little things every day to get to where you want to be. It doesn't have to be anything big. Literally, if you want to achieve your dream body, just spending like 20, 30 minutes at the gym is probably enough. It's better than spending zero minutes at the gym. So yeah, like little things, it doesn't have to be big because I feel like especially with, with the whole New Year's resolution and everyone setting their goals and you know, yeah, everyone setting their big goals, it can get overwhelming because when you apply so many goals at once, that's when it can get a bit tricky because your body's not used to change. When it comes to like setting goals and wanting to set habits, Make sure they're achievable, make sure they're doable, and slowly build up from that rather than going all in. But like, I'm a gym seven days a week, and I'm gonna wake up 5 a.m. every day, and then falling off track because it's overwhelming because it's just all so new. God, I'm like sweating right now. <laughs> ah, it's so hot in here. So let's say you have three non negotiables for 30 days. An example is drinking three liters of water a day. Let's say you wanna start building your own business. Spend 30 minutes every day just working on your business, no distractions, nothing, just 30 minutes. 30 minutes is nothing compared to the how many hours in the day we have, like 12 hours or maybe more depending on how long you sleep for. Um, but yeah, like it's little things that will get you to where you want to be. Just those small habits every single day. Over time, you'll get used to these habits and you can add more habits on top of that. Like once you start applying all these little habits and actually sticking to them, that's when you'll become the best version of yourself. Like without even realizing it. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm sweating. I need to go.